Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on tonight's episode, we are still over in Soul B, and I am with this group yet again. You guys will see right here before me, we have regrouped, we have uh, buffed up, we've gotten everything. We're back into this room again, and I think it's going to go very well because now we have an extra person with us that is a shaman. You can see he has his pets. He has uh, Clarity 2 on him, just like I do, and we are just going to be kicking some butt guys because uh there is not much that can stop us at this moment greater cabal just spawned over here of course it did spawn right uh, right where i was sitting apparently not a good spot to be but perfectly fine because i went ahead and stood up just a little bit sooner than it could it could see me and it went straight after the shaman which i don't know why it did that but i guess maybe because the pet is lower level than i am although i'd be surprised about that because the shaman is uh pet is mezzing a doggy yeah because the shaman is level 44 and uh, his pet probably higher level than me but it's uh let me actually test that out let me let me see if i can target the pet for one and then we will see he's blue okay so he is lower level which is uh surprising but yeah we got a shaman with us and a shaman mixed in with uh, all of these monks we got four monks a shaman and a cleric normally that would be an amazing group to have however there is one weak link and the weak link happens to be a level 35 cleric which is me unfortunately guys i am the the weak link because i am so low level i am getting low level aggro i am i am getting killed very very quickly when things actually do aggro onto me and it's uh, it's a little bit of a hassle for them to have to keep up with me and kind of baby the the situation because they know that because uh, I'm a little bit more vulnerable. So I'm trying to stay back as far as I possibly can in these fights. Give them room to work. Give them room to do their thing. Uh, I'm gonna you know heal up the. Um, oh my God! Seriously, seriously, guys. Shaman is taking hits. So I figured you know what the what the heck? I'll give him a little bit of my power, and. Uh, and get him up there but no 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 there's there's a bat here apparently and he, he just wants to take a beast out of me another bat dang it what in the world i am going to die here from a freaking bat so let me come over here let me heal myself a little bit thank you shaman i appreciate it there's just no safe place to sit man i mean you know they're they're all doing their thing i thought being back here then when you have some spare mana could i get an hp buff whenever you have uh let me see what do i have I don't know if I have the new one just yet. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I have? Symbols of Pinzam. Let me let me see. What does that require to cast? I'm hoping Paradox because Paradox is what I have on me. I did have a backpack full of the other stuff. Unfortunately, I think I left it in the bank when I was um, when I was doing my trade crafting. So I don't know if I have that on me anymore. Oh, Jaspers. Jaspers, why why do you got to be so cruel? Yeah, I'm just not going to have the ability to uh, cast that on him. So I'll send him a message here and let him know what's going on there. Mez Evil, I'm going to go ahead and toss you a heal real quick. Hopefully there's not too much on you. Oh, crap. And this guy, he's taking some damage. Come on, come back, come back. All right, Superior Heal incoming on Molly. There we go. Oh, no, not two of them. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, guys. Root at one. I'm not going to make it out of here in time. Nope. Nope. There goes three. There goes another one. Come on. Can I heal myself? Maybe. Maybe this is just a nightmare scenario here, guys. Not expecting this to end very well. Attacking Lava Beetle. Get it off of me, please. Please, please, please get it off of me. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. This is, this is not going well. Jeez. This is rough. That, that is, uh, unfortunately, what is transpiring here because I am so low level. Just one heal at the wrong time. Mob ran the wrong way. Yeah, uh, I, I don't want to sit down here. I want to I be somewhere else. Let me move over here. I do need to heal him, though, so I'm going to have to bite the bullet here. Hopefully, this does not cause my death. We'll find out shortly. It did not cause my death. Okay, so what should I do? Should I heal him again or should I heal myself? I think I'm going to save the power and heal him. There's another one over there. They are keeping very, very good aggro on all of this stuff. 
There we go. I am at 10%. Let them know that. I guess I got a risk sitting down. Ah, I can't risk sitting down. Not close to that thing. They got another or two over here. Did they kill those? They did kill those. Okay, so I'm sitting down over here. A big uh, big dot from the lava crawler. Ah, oh, crap. I am going to have to heal him, aren't I? Let's see if I can do it. Here we go. Superior healing on the shaman. Normally wouldn't do that too much unless I had the power to spare. But now I am completely out of power. There we go. Lava duck crawler is not slowed. Oh, wow, these guys hurt, man. Of course, they're breaking the room, which is always the hardest part of any fight. Because instead of pulling one mob, you're pulling five or something along those lines. It changes depending on the room that you're pulling. And, you, of course, you could try to break that up. And with as many monks, you could do like a chain pulling thing. But I'm guessing because these lava crawlers have a poison... If you try doing that, you, you probably take more damage than if you just went ahead and just tried killing them all out. I, I don't know if that's the case or not. It's been a long time since I fought these guys uh, personally, so there might be an easier way to do what we're doing. But they're doing just fine. In fact, if it wasn't for me getting so close to death, I don't really see any problem whatsoever for this room. I see these guys being able to handle it just fine. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> yes you keep it interesting man keeping it interesting interesting for sure <laughs> you got to give it to the people who uh you know test you and you know make you make you work for it you know it, it wakes you up because sometimes you can get into that that whole groove that whole mindset of you know i'm just going to uh re down not that i expect one um, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we'd like to get you on there if we can, but I don't have resolution. Uh, I, wait, no, almost had to peel them off the ground again. That was armor of faith. Yeah. Um, geez, uh, they're just wiping the floor with me. Yeah. Nice save there. <laughs> it's nice to have an extra healer when things go bad. Well, yeah, we couldn't get to the lava beetle's attention. Uh, go to Shammy's Hills. Yeah, you know, any any hill, even even a low-level hill, is nice when you're that close to death. So, cannibalizing during the fight. I don't think... I mean, I think he kind of was a little bit. But I think majority of that was poison, actually. I think he was taking some damage from poison on that one. And you can see none of the monks are full life. And they're not using their men because they probably used it during that fight. So, that fight would have been a lot more rough on most different uh kind of tanks out there like a you know a paladin or something like that i did a couple but didn't want to get too low thought i might need the hp <laughs> uh very close to needing it it's a close call when a shaman is combat cannibal yeah because you might get that low level aggro or low life aggro on some of the mobs if you go too low on that one but like i said i think he's doing just fine you know he's gotten it down to about 60 percent, 67 percent on his life so he's good there let me let me tell him real quick. Um, actually, is that his name Rick L or Rick I? I think it has an two eyes at the end or an L at the end. It's very hard to tell. I left all my gems in the bank. Stupid move. Move. I know. So I won't be able to cast that spell. I guess he does have an L at the end of it right there. Uh, hey, I'm more than just a pretty face sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it. I can't believe I left those gems. I bought an entire bag. You don't have anything? Yeah, I can do Valor. Just not symbols. Yeah, let me give him Valor real quick, guys. Um, I tried giving it to him earlier, but he had a different buff on him, and it wouldn't let me put it on him. So let me see if this works again. That's cool. I'm good with that. Okay, so I'm at 74%. I am happy to help him out. Like I said, he saved my life on that one. That was a very hectic way to start that, uh, that battle there. So, yeah. <laughs> I am, like I said, the lowest person in the group. It's going to be hectic. And because I don't have any of the friends here to kind of pick up the conversation, I do apologize if there's lols in it, but I got to communicate with my group. I got to, you know, read the chat. I got to see what's going on, especially in this situation, so I can keep things going. If mana's tight, I can tell you when it drops. 
Uh, I am at uh, 80%, so I am good on that one. GC2 is still up, you guys. Isn't it? Regen down. Yep, still have it. Just a little something extra for when I get aggro on a bunch of stuff again. Yeah, and like I said, he saved my life, so I am happy to do it. I'm at 81%. Pull something. Yeah, we are good. Whew. Okay, so there is a mob that spawns exactly where I'm sitting. Not, e not the best place, but considering the fact that sitting up there is where they're pulling from, I am happy to sit back here. I'm happy to get that one mob. I may be regretting that in the future. You guys may see me screaming and then crying like I just died because nobody knew I was getting attacked and I'm back here all alone and, and nobody to see what's going on. But, uh, you know, I, I, I can't risk getting too close. You guys have seen what happens when that happens and I don't want to die again. Regen comes at a price. We must pay it. Uh, more merbs, more merbers. So, yeah, more mobs is basically what he's saying. Lost my coffee on that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. I am making these guys work for it, and so is our monk. Regen comes at a price. Being punched in the face by a couple, bitten in the neck by a bat, and let a LDC chew on your leg. Do any of that, and you can have it. <laughs> yeah. So, he was getting hit by quite a few things, but he had his pet... And uh, I think, thankfully, he was able to uh, to keep things going there for a while. And th that's the key. We need one healer in here that can take some hits, and I'm just not him. I'm just not going to be that person. Not yet. Very close, very close to level 36, those guys. And I think that's not too bad. I mean, it's not the greatest experience in the game. If I was in a amazing group of my level in Mistmore, I might be leveling a little bit faster than this. Especially considering I wouldn't be dying as much because I'd be at the level that I should be at. But with that taken into account, uh, I'm having a blast over here. And I think that's more important. I, yeah, I do want to get the levels. I'm, I'm trying to get up to that point where I can do raiding if I really, really uh, need to. You can see there's a spider right there. He is. He was like, maybe I should go around the corner and beat on the cleric a little bit. Maybe. Just maybe. And they pulled it off of him. They saw him going. So I'm going to give him a couple of seconds to keep that aggro. And then I'll sit back down. And if I saw him coming back over around the corner, I'll stand back up again. And usually that will be enough to stop him in his tracks and go back to whoever's attacking him. So, like I said, they're having to baby me a little bit and uh, just kind of watch for my safety because I have gone splat several times. In fact, I don't know if you guys saw it in the last episode. I think you did. I actually think you did. I, I did record a little bit longer after the first death. And I came back over here, and they were like, do you want to get your res now? And I'm like, no, no, because they have an extra character here, uh, his alt. And he'd load onto it, and he could res me up with a 96% res. And I was like, no, no, this, that's all right. I'll wait the two hours. You know, we're, we're doing pretty good. I want to keep things rolling. And immediately upon doing that, they got, you know, aggroed, uh, I don't know, something trained by something. And we got a couple imps in, we got a couple kobolds in, and we were doing fairly well on those too. And so I went over there and sat down in the hallway, and I don't know where those kobolds came from, but I got two kobolds on me, and that was pretty much doom for the group. I died again. I went splat. Boom. Haven't been able to land a slow on the LDCs yet. Those lava deck crawlers. Uh, does being nicked in the tail count? Blood boil. Uh, planes of power came after or before Lucilin. After, yeah. P.O.P. is after. P.O.P. was the last expansion I played before I stopped playing. You don't know how often I hear that, guys. I think, yeah, you know, it was hard to say, but I think most people gave EverQuest a couple expansions to kind of mess things up in their opinion. I mean, you know, everybody has their own opinion, and some people loved those expansions. Some people didn't. But Lucilin, uh, or Lucklin, however you want to pronounce that, seemed to tick a lot of people off. To be honest, I kind of missed that one. I, I stopped there for a little while after, like, I played Velius for a good bit. I, I did a lot of raiding there. I didn't really go to the, the low-level zones all that much, but I did a lot of raiding there, um, you know, with the giants and stuff like that to get your gear. And then, uh, you know, kind of peaked for me, and I, I kind of stopped. I, I was going to school. I was uh, doing work. I had football. You know, I was, I was going to college and stuff like that. So it was just a lot of stuff on my plate. I just did have no time whatsoever. I remember coming home from work, because uh, I worked at a movie theater, and uh, we we would have midnight showings. You know, it's it's commonplace now, but back then it wasn't as commonplace. But we would have midnight showings, and you know, for for those of you who go to see one of those, um, it's it's a long night for those people who work there because 
they may stop like a, an hour or 30 minutes after that last movie starts. They will go and start cleaning out the, the popper and all that other stuff and getting everything ready for the end of the night. And by the time the last movie ends, they're pretty much ready to go. They just kind of have to go through that movie theater, make sure nobody's there hiding behind the screen or whatever the case may be. Because occasionally, you know, uh, you know homeless is, is an issue in every state that you go to. And occasionally you would have... You know, the homeless, they would buy a ticket for the last showing and then they would go and sleep behind the screen because it's a nice place. They get to sleep all night. It's safe and it has AC. The AC gets to stay on all night. And so they kind of like doing that. And when I found people like that doing that, I just left them. But, you know, it was it was something that they didn't really like people there. Of course, you had the janitors who came in at night and cleaned up the place. So there's there's still people there. It wasn't like it was completely left open and everything was locked down anyway. So it wasn't like anybody could steal anything. But regardless you kind of had to wait for the last movie to end so you know if it was a 90 minute movie then you got out at like 130 maybe 145 150 depending on what you had left to do at the end of the night if it was like a two to two and a half hour movie you get off at like two in the morning three in the morning you still have to drive home mine was about uh, uh, you know 30 minutes to 45 minutes away from where I work so I would get home on average from either two o'clock to you know anywhere as late as four o'clock have to wake up pretty early I think it was like six or seven then go to school and do classes until the afternoon and I would have about four hours off in between where I did my my studies where I was like reading the books and doing the homework and doing all that stuff and then I had to go to work there was very little time for me to sleep let alone play a game like this which requires a lot of time so I miss Lucklin all together. I just didn't even, I didn't even know it came out. I was not like even remotely keeping up with what was going on in the EverQuest universe. I was just gone from it completely, which sucked because I, I really loved this game. And, you know, I was playing it hardcore there for a long, long time. Uh, let me look real quick before I go any further. You know what these lava beetles make me think? They make me think uh, there is a level 40 beetle and a level 45 spider. Where are my y v s d level five giant rats i don't know what that means who is this rat killer from the black heart pirates so he's from our guild i don't know what he's doing here but uh it would be cool to get another monkey in it would be cool but we just have no space for him unfortunately so maybe next time but oops he's level 54 rat killer yeah he's too high for us as well but yeah, so I, I missed that one all together, and then things kind of calmed down once I got out of high or college, and I was able to uh, work a little bit less off, and I got a better job, and, and things kind of uh, settled down for me. I came back in P.O.P., and P.O.P., actually, I came back before P.O.P., and I got back into the, the rhythm of things, and I was raiding. I still didn't go to Luckland. Uh, it didn't seem like anybody was really going to Luckland, uh, the moon, and... The Beast Lords were out, and the Beast Lords were overpowered. They were just, they were a nasty race. I mean, they were cool, but they were just too overpowered. You know, it just came down to they didn't fit in the game. My regen, EQ, okay, yeah. Just making sure I don't want to miss anything in the in the chat window. But yeah, it's uh, they were just too, too overpowered. And then P.O.P. came out, and it killed a lot of the game. Like, the, the Druid teleports were gone. Wizard teleports were gone. Anybody could teleport anywhere they wanted to by clicking on books in certain parts in the zone. And, yeah, you still had to run to the book, and you still had to click on it, and then you went up to the Plane of Power. You ran around a little bit in the Plane of Power and found the, the you know, stone tablet you want to click on and zone over to there. And then from there, you had to run over to other zones that were close to it. So it wasn't exactly a teleport to the location, but you didn't need a Druid anymore. You didn't really need a Wizard anymore. It, it didn't... It wasn't like they teleported you to other places that the druids and the wizards couldn't teleport you. They just teleported you to a lot of zones, including the ones druids could teleport you to, and including ones that they couldn't teleport you to. So they had more variety. Like, you could do whatever you wanted to, really, and get around a lot easier. And so druids kind of went the way of the dodo, to be honest, guys. I mean, I hate to say it, but... They don't really have a lot of use in groups or raids, unfortunately. Like, they're a good class. I liked them. My brother played one, and I loved watching him play it. Uh, see, even he earned my regen by eating myself. Okay, so, uh, yeah, even my brother played one. I would sit there and watch him play it, and it would be a cool class to play. But in a group, the, the group makeup, you want a really strong healer most of the time. Because if you have a really strong healer, you don't need two. You know, if you have a weak healer, like a shaman who's your main healer, then you might need a druid 
as your backup healer. You know, somebody to, to even it out to compare to one cleric because a cleric is going to have complete heal and the other two guys just never did. I think at higher, higher levels, they eventually gave complete heal to other people. But, uh, Ray, you hold yourself to the same standards attacking. Okay, yeah, everybody's good. <laughs> Sorry if it kind of throws you off that I'm reading that. But, like I said, I really have to pay attention here. But, yeah, it was... Uh, one of those things where the cleric could do the the work of you know two shamans basically or a shaman and a druid and so druids never really got the love in groups mages really never got the love in groups that they should have and uh, in raids the only people who really got the love were the the pure classes you know the ones that could do the the tanking the best and the ones who could do the healing or the mezzing the best or whatever the case was the other guys were really only ever there for you know, the uh, the buffs. And Druids, I think, had like one buff. I think it was like Protection of the Nines or Protection of the Glades or something like that that was uh, fairly decent. Had a regen on health and power. And it stacked with a few of the other buffs out there. So they could use you for that purpose and pretty much that purpose alone other than the teleports. You know, like they wanted you to be able to get people there. But pretty much they wanted people to have Druids to do stuff and then they wanted you to lo log off of them and log on to your main, which was something that they wanted. You know, that warrior, that uh, rogue, that enchanter, whatever the case is. They just didn't get that love. And so the only time I really ever saw a, a druid in my experience as a cleric was when I was getting a teleport. Like that was how they made their money because they just didn't get into those big level groups. Yeah, they would do camping on their own. They would do, uh, you know, experiencing on their own. They would get up there, and occasionally they would go after an item, and they, they might be able to get them into the group and stuff like that. But, you know, they just didn't get that money like anything else. You know, it wasn't like other characters that had the the ability to do that. And so when you took that away from them, especially uh, the same thing, with, uh, wizards were a little bit better actually because they were a pure a pure class. Uh, they could do damage with their spells. But even they were kind of hard to get into raids sometimes because if you're going after certain mobs, it could be uh, the check. Let's let's move up a little bit, make sure they're still up here. Uh, one of them is up here. I don't know where the other one is. Bat and camp. The check. Let's do it. Jolly Rogers. This many monks and LDCs aren't casters. Uh, I just want to make sure they didn't leave me. Because, you know, they, they could do the FD here. Okay, so he's still calling this our camp. I am, uh, I'm going to sit right here and just uh, keep an eye on it, just in case. Because, I, you know, like I said, I, I got to really pay attention. But, yeah, so uh, some of those classes really didn't get a lot of love. And when POP came out, some of the stuff they integrated into the game killed those classes just outright. And Druids went from being a class that can make a lot of money which actually brought people over to play that class in the first place even today there are people who will make a druid for the sole reason of teleporting people around and making money off of it just so that they can uh, buy gear for their other characters that may sound like a bad reason to have a class you know somebody that pretty much has no reason other than to support the other classes but you do need a support class you do need classes like that in the game that support the other classes and the druids are still highly enjoyable to play most people who tend to start a character for that reason will eventually realize that that clear that character has a lot to offer and still get a lot of enjoyment out of it so i don't know i mean i just then they they added a few other things into pop that i wasn't too happy with but i did like the the zones like the the dungeons they had up there the the uh, I can't even think of the virtue plane and uh, virtue and the different planes that they had in there. They were really well done. They were they were difficult to do. Bad situation. There's that greater cobalt. I knew he was going to be spawning pretty soon. Let me back it up just slightly, and we'll go ahead and heal uh, Molly over here. Uh, no, maybe we won't. He's he's too far away. He's out there. Bat is dead. Bat situation. Okay, okay. So yeah, he's he's waiting for for something to happen over here before he pulls the rest of those guys and i'm going to stay just a little further out than i normally do because i i think he's going to be pulling something pretty vicious here so let me let me back up and i'll sit right here because i think this is good <laughs> he's going to give me all his junk uh which is not junk actually it's it's pretty good cash and i'll say thank you uh invite who did we lose here let me see, can I heal him? Yeah, I can heal him. 
Invite Evil or Mez. Leaps, uh, nice job splitting lava duck crawler. What happened? Where did where did Evil go? Did he? Wow! I turn my eyes for just a second and we lose somebody. I didn't even see it happen. Molly, he will be right back. Okay, so he's he's coming right back, I guess. Who has lead? There he is. Wow. Okay, so guys, so many things going on, guys. So many things. This is what I said earlier on if you guys yeah i don't really need loot just have a compulsion need to loot. oh yeah so some people have that uh, but you know I, I told you guys this at an early stage um you know that when we got to higher levels i might actually have to record the footage and then later on go back and add commentary to it later on because there is a lot of stuff going on you got to concentrate as a cleric in certain groups other ones you don't really need to like there's there's groups out there where they're so boring but in a good way that nothing happens as a cleric in fact you can just sit there and do absolutely nothing and rack up the experience and it's perfectly fine everybody's uh, okay with it because when it comes time for you to actually use your heal spells they rather have you there for the the one in 20 fights than not have you there for the one in 20 fights because then everything kind of falls apart and you see it so let me go ahead and sit back down and uh, med back up because my buffs are falling off and I've lost, uh, you know, Clarity 2. So this might get a little sticky. Clarity 2 is down. Ah, uh, geez, this, this is going to be bad, I guess. Let me tell them. C2 is down. Yep, here they come. Sonic Bat. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have healed that soon, but I did it anyways against my own better judgment. Let me root that bat. Let me get back in here. Oh wow, they got they got some good stuff in here. And the bat broke my root yet again. You are a little punk bat. There you go. Stay rooted. Stay rooted and leave me alone. Alright, now I gotta heal. I gotta heal this guy. I should toss a heal on myself. I don't really like doing that's extra aggro on me. If I do it, I would prefer the uh the uh, shaman to toss one on me if he gets a chance, but there's no guarantee he's going to. So I'm gonna do that. I don't really want to sit down here. There's too many lava crawlers. Let me go ahead and give Leaps a superior heal. I could probably wait a little bit longer on that one. But, uh, you know, I want him up just in case I die here. You can see there's the bat right there. Let me come over here and find a place that I can sit down and still keep an eye on things if things are going to be coming my way here. In a little bit, I am down to 20%. Uh, have no haste here. I need haste, fog dispelled. Uh, let's see. We'll pull Chanter after this fight. Okay, so he's going to pull the Enchanter back up. Unfortunately, without those Chanter buffs, I don't see us being able to keep this area because it is a very, very difficult area for somebody so low. Uh, again, you know, it just kind of sucks. Comes down to level, guys. Sometimes if you're not the right level, you just can't do what you need to do to survive or keep the group to survive. So, yeah, I, I, I think that I am the weak link and the experience... You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not as good as it used to be. You can see right there, I've earned about one-fourth of a bubble. And I used to be earning a lot more. It seems like when we're fighting creatures where they're not getting a lot of experience from it, I get a ton of experience from it. But when we start fighting experience or creatures where they're getting a ton of experience, I get really, really little of it because I am so low. I'm okay with that. If I can get level 36 tonight, I'm getting out of a heck level. That's basically like two levels or maybe even three levels in one day, I can live with that. Because the, tomorrow I'll be able to get 36, maybe 30, I mean, you know, I'll be getting 36 today. I might be able to get 37, maybe 38 in an entire day. I'll go over to a dungeon like a Mistmore or wherever I can get a group, really. Because there was not a lot of options today for some reason. I don't know if it was just the fact that it was Monday, that it was in the afternoon, or whatever the case is. But it was just, uh, yeah, it was not going very well. Let me see. I probably don't have enough for a group heal, but we'll try it. Doesn't help when I fizzle. Here we go. That that did absolutely nothing on everybody, so that was a waste. These guys are way too high for that spell. <laughs> Jeez, why did I even cast that? So embarrassing. Four monks couldn't split. Epic fail. Oh, the two LDCs. Oh, the two bats were repop. Crack dealer incoming. 
Mm, yes, please, please. It's amazing how I can go from being full power with Clarity 2 to being no power without it. You know, I mean, that, that is a huge difference. It's not like it's middle ground where I'm like, oh, I'm barely able to keep up. I'm at 50% with it. No, no, I'm at full mana with it. Heading out, regen who needs it. Uh, okay, so he's heading out. Mal, Woot, uh, Crack Dealer incoming. Hmm, that sucks. He's going to be heading out. I don't know if we can do this area without him. Oh, handing out regen, not heading out. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad I read that wrong. You could never, you could not even imagine how glad I am that I actually read that wrong. I thought that was going to be the end of it, and I was so close to getting level 36 and getting out of this heck level. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to getting to my 50s, where every 50 is a heck level. But, you know, once I get up to that level, I can start going to, like, Karner's Castle and Seb and things of that sort. So it's going to open up a lot of doors to me. And Seb, uh, you know, I have a lot of fond memories of that zone, just like I have a lot of fond memories of this zone. And I'm not really in a rush to get through these. Like, I, I want to experience these zones again. But at the same time, I want to go to some of those other ones as well. So I'm kind of impatient in a lot of ways where I want to experience a lot of the game very quickly. But at the same time, I don't. And I think that's kind of a cross between me playing the game the way I've been doing it, which is very slow, been very casual. You know, I log on once, twice a week maybe. You guys have seen videos... And, you know, I've mentioned this before, that the videos you guys are watching are about two to three months behind where I actually am in the game. So a lot of the time you guys watch those videos, you send me a message and you're like, wow, you're 10 levels higher than you were before. Well, yeah, it took me 10, it took me two or three months to get those 10 levels, which is very, very slow, but it's a big jump from where you thought I was. And, you know, we, we did it very slowly, you know, and some nights we would get on and we shoot like seven videos in one night. Other nights we would get on and we shoot just maybe one or maybe none, you know, like everything went wrong and videos really didn't turn out very, very well. People had problems with Skype. People had problems with this. Uh, their, the programs weren't working to record, you know, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that you guys don't get to see. And, to be honest, you probably wouldn't want to see it. Like, it's not very interesting when people are not able to get their, their uh, you know, Skype to work or when they're not able to get their recording engine to work and they're sitting there trying to record and they're like, oh, this isn't and we're trying to figure out the problem or when somebody's mic is acting up and we're just not getting the sound quality we want or whatever the case is. Let's see how low is he? Oh, he's really low. Let me see if I can toss him a superior heal real quick and get him back up. Ah, there we go. He's good. Wow, okay. Let me get in here a little bit more, get out of the way. I'll get over next to the Enchanter. Being next to the Enchanter is always a good idea. Because <laughs> if you're next to the Enchanter, it's kind of like that saying, you don't need to be the fastest man, just don't be the last one. You know, like, be faster than the last guy. If you're next to the Enchanter, it's kind of like having uh, ice cream and then having, like, a giant size plate of ice cream with chocolate mixed on top with nuts and uh, marshmallows and a banana sticking out the top and a little bit of strawberries and anything else you can put on there that would make it appetizing. You're going to be looking at the, the pile of ice cream and be like, that looks good, but that other pile looks freaking delicious. And that's the enchanter to these mobs. He looks delicious. I just look good. So <laughs> they go after him first. They eat through that guy, and then when they're done and they want seconds, then they come over here and eat the ice cream. And then when they finally get done with the, the, the sweets, they look around and they see the monks, and they're like, uh, that guy doesn't look that appetizing, but we're going to go ahead and eat him anyways. You know, he's the broccoli. He's not the guy we really want to eat. You know, <laughs> he's the leftovers because he can actually fight back. And... Um, yeah, so that's why I like being next to the Enchanter, because it, it definitely gives you the ability to kind of get overlooked a little bit and uh, have a chance at surviving a little bit longer. Not always, not always, but most of the time you're going to be fine with it. You're going to you're gonna survive that one. Plus, if the Enchanter hears all that commotion going on, it wakes him up from whatever he might be doing, and it tells him that, hey, mez this guy, right? Mez him. He's beating on the cleric. You definitely want to mez that guy because the cleric's going to heal you, right? The cleric's your buddy. Um, <laughs> doesn't always work, but a lot of the time it seems to be fine. So 
you know, uh, and then again, there, there's the rule of thumb is to stay away from the Enchanter because the Enchanter is going to get aggro. He's going to stun mobs. He's going to be mezzing mobs. And a lot of the aggro runs to him. And once it runs to him and it slaps him upside the head and he stands up, the mob a lot of the time will be like, oh, you're sitting down too. Let me slap you upside the head a little bit and cause you about a bubble to a bubble and a half of your life. Get you to stand back up. And if you immediately sit back down again, I'll come back and slap you just uh, just the same, dude. You know, like they have that mentality. Uh, what is going on with this? Is this his pet? I think it's his pet. And they're over there just uh, kind of practicing on that. So, yeah, I wanted to stay in the room just to make sure that I get the uh, the buffs. But let's, let's come back over here. And I think I will sit a little bit further back just to kind of stay out of the way. Ooh, there is a train. Train behind me. Yep, just to let them know, uh, well, G, train, yeah, I didn't really get into the group save, but they should see it just the same. I'm close enough. So let me, uh, let me move up a little bit. I definitely don't want to be over there if there's a train that just went by. And guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I did hope that we'd be able to get my ding on camera, but as you guys have seen for the last, like, hour, I've barely gotten a half a bubble. And again, like I said before, that just comes into play because we're, we're attacking higher level creatures i'm the lowest level in the group and a little bit of the experience is going to me but the majority is going to them so it's going to be probably another hour before i level i will try to start the video up before then if i can remember but it's just going to be us killing over here and you know even though it's great to watch this i don't want you to watch like 47 videos of this plus i'm going to be playing for another probably six hours tonight and i don't have that much space to be able to record 14 hours worth on my hard drive at once and i still have to upload these and make space for tomorrow so i'm going to try to space them out a little bit so there's like 30 minutes 40 minutes in between each video before i film the next one and uh, i just i want you guys to journey with me on this uh, because it's it's a very cool game i love it and every situation that you're in can drastically change at any given moment so some of the worst situations we've gotten into and you guys will know when we go to like uh you know kazakh Thul and stuff like that it could be going really well for us and then just snap out of the blue everything goes bad so yeah i, I hope you guys will stay with me and uh, again guys thanks for watching i will definitely catch you all next time